This is an hour of harvesting in my church. And I'm bringing my church down to the threshing floor. And I even see, I, I even see angels being released in this harvest. And the Lord says, I will separate, I will pull out, my angels will, re will relieve the church from the tears. And do you not know that even your heart has come down to the threshing floor? Do you not know that this is an hour where your heart is getting separated from the tears of unbelief, from the tears of self-righteousness, from the tears of impurity of thought and action and deed? Do you not know and recognise the hour of harvest that is upon you, my church? For I have got a winnowing fan in my hand and I will separate the wheat from the chaff. Do you not know this is an hour of harvest? And I am the Lord of the harvest. And I will separate the impure from the pure, says God. And what is impure shall be burned with fire, which cannot be put out. This is an hour where the fear of the Lord is being restored to the church. Will you not stand again and tremble at my word? Will you not stand again and tremble at my presence? For this is an hour where I am going to cause my people to see and to be able to separate and discern between the holy and the profane. Namaste, Grosh, Grevambange, Grishti. This is an hour of fire. Oh, my holy fire. Ha! And that which can shake will be shaken, says God. For I am an all consuming fire. Ha! And that which has been built. Upon counterfeit shall be shaken in this hour of fire. I hear the Lord saying when as I was seeing the angels being released and I saw the angels going to the four corners of the earth and the four winds of God moving over the earth. But I, I saw the Lord highlight the south lands. And the Lord says to Australia and the Southlands, do not look and see what's going on here and there, for I'm about to move on this nation in such a mighty wave of fire. I'm about to move upon this great land of the Holy Spirit. And I'm gonna bring forth a heart of gold, says God. Gold that is purified in the fire. Yes, you shall see shakings here and there. Yes, yes, you see kingdoms coming down here and there. But God says, look and see what I'm doing here. For I am doing a great work of refining and purifying and purging and shaking. And I'm gonna bring forth this nation as gold. Know the hour. Don't be ignorant of the times and the seasons. Even in, the, in Matthew 24 where Jesus even said, and some will say, here he comes, and some will say, there he is. Don't be deceived by different words that are distracting from the hour that I've called the church to the threshing floor. And this is an hour I'm dealing with my house. This is an hour I'm visiting my house. 
and I'm getting my house in order, says God. No, oh, I saw before when God was talking about the refiner's fire and I was hearing that God is gonna restore Australia to her first love. That her first love, her fire, the fire in her heart will burn to love Him first. And then I just had a picture of the church of Ephesus, how they just threw all their idols on the fire, how the whole city was turned upside down and they forsook their pagan rituals and their demonic idolatry. And they all threw it in the fire and the Lord said, what church did I say that I'm gonna restore the first love? And I said, the church of Ephesus. Oh. <laughs> And the Lord says, Australia, I saw you're gonna, you're gonna throw your idols on the fire. You're gonna turn from your paganism in the church. There will be a repentance from pagan worship, from pagan idolatry, from witchcraft, from mixture. And that's going to cause the first love to be restored. Because God says you cannot serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. In Australia, God is calling you. As the Ephesus Church. To return to your first love. And forsake all others in the fire. And let it burn and purge your heart clean of anything else that comes before him. I'm hearing the Lord say, don't point the finger. Don't point the finger and look like even having yeah, I'm hearing God say, don't, don't look to other nations and point the finger and say, yeah, they need to be dealt with or there's trouble there or they, they need dealing with. But God says, hey, get the plank out of your own eye and so you can be able to speak life into the other nations. God says, Australia, this is a time where you are going to get the plank out of your eye of judgment. And I'm going to deliver this nation of the curse of judgment that has been such a stumbling block to purity, a false humility even, self-righteousness even. But the Lord says, this is the hour. My fire will visit the heart of this nation and expose the planks. Because God says, I'm going to raise Australia to be a voice of love. A voice of love to help deliver other nations of impurity. There shall be no other gods before me, says the Lord. And you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. And you will love your neighbour as yourself, God says. I see the nation bowing their knee. No other gods before thee. Thank you, Lord. I just keep hearing it, repeating in my spirit. Yes, Lord. We will bow our knee. And we say no other gods before thee. Let's just prophetically do that. I feel like we're just going to prophetically stand on behalf of our nation in intercession right now. Let's just bow our knee. Let's just get on our knees. I feel like we're just going to do this. Yes, Lord. We say no other gods before you.
We say no other gods before you, Lord. Oh. I say let every culture bow its knee. I say nations within nations in this nation, let every culture of nations bow their knee to the, to the culture of kingdom and Jesus Christ. Father, we say no other gods before you. Culture is not our God. We renounce culture. We renounce national culture, any kind of culture, as a God before you, Lord. We say no other God before you. We don't take pride in this and that, but God, we say you are our only God and King. No other King than King Jesus. We are patriots of the King. And Lord, I just thank you as the stripping away of, of, of culture, prideful culture happens, Lord. The only product that can come forth is unity. And God, we just thank you, Lord, you're unifying your church. There will be no, I'm from Paul and I'm from Apollos, God. We just bow our knee now and we renounce all allegiance to any organisation and any church name or any identity that we've bowed under or as a nation or we've chosen to to surrender to God, we renounce that. We say, let the dividing lines of denominationalism come down, Lord. And we say, no other king than King Jesus. Yeah, we renounce the pride of the names of organisations and identity and identifying with Apollos or Paul. We renounce that sin, God, as Paul said, was carnality. And we acknowledge you are the only one who shed your blood. And it is under your banner that we give allegiance. Oh, King Jesus. Oh, King Jesus. We bow our knee. You are the captain of the host. Oh, King Jesus. that you will be our reward. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 